Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from the 1000 Fabulous Sandwiches in 1965, we're going to be making the crunchy cheese sandwich. Yes, that's right. Crunchy cheese. All right, to make our crunchy cheese sandwich, we start off with processed cheese, chopped olives, black olives, slivered almonds, and mayonnaise. Get that all mixed together. Then we put that onto white bread. Mm-hmm. 60s, baby. Okay, let's give this crunchy cheese sandwich a go. It's decidedly mayonnaise forward. It does have crunch because of the almonds, but man, the ratio of mayonnaise to the other ingredients is pretty high. I don't dislike mayonnaise, so it's not a problem, but it's weird. I mean, nothing tastes bad about this. It's just, it's a lot of mayonnaise and American cheese, processed cheese is not exactly the most flavorful. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's plus this up. I'm gonna give it the grilled cheese treatment, but not just in any fat. That's right, I'm using sesame chili oil, woo! Okay, let's give this crunchy cheese sandwich plussed up by giving it the grilled cheese treatment in spicy sesame oil. A go. The American cheese has gotten completely melty. That sesame oil has a real kick to it. And it's really good, and the toasted bread is really good. And now the cheese is all melty, so yeah, it's better. Is it fantastic? Eh, not really. All right, well, the original uh, crunchy cheese sandwich, interesting idea. Um, I gotta say though, the mayo ratio was off. I'm gonna give that a four and a half. Even though I like the ingredients and it wasn't bad, that mayo ratio was incorrect. Uh, plussed up with the grilled cheese treatment in the spicy sesame oil. That's like a five and a half. I'll finish it. Uh, I don't think I would ever make this again though, because why? <laughs> you could just make a grilled cheese sandwich and give it the grilled cheese treatment and spicy sesame oil and be better off. All right, see you tomorrow.